Welcome to Sabbath School Today, where we relate the 1888 message, which is God's encouraging good news to us, to the adult Sabbath School lessons that are produced by the General Conference. And this quarter, we are studying about God's mission and my mission. We begin with prayer. Father in heaven, thank you for this wonderful time that we can spend together in reflecting on the good news of the gospel related to the Sabbath school lessons. We pray this in Jesus name. Amen. Today's lesson is God's mission to us part one. Now one of the grand truths that make God's last days message unique is that and we quote by his uplifted cross an ongoing priestly ministry, Christ is drawing all to himself to repentance. His gracious love is so strong and persistent that the sinner must resist it in order to be lost. Why is this true? Because God has given himself for every man, and yes, he has given himself to everyone. When Jesus died on his cross, he did more than save good people. He died for the ungodly. And when we were yet without strength in due time, writes Paul, Christ died for the ungodly. Romans 5, 6. It may be hard to say it, but that includes the worst sinners on earth. The idea that Christ is running the special shop of salvation here and he stays inside like a shopkeeper until the sinner takes the initiative to come seek him out. It's not what the Bible says. We must mention two reasons for this. First of all, Christ is the good shepherd who does not wait for the lost sheep to try to find his way home again. He always goes in search of it. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep, John 10 11. The lost sheep may be lost out on the hills on a wild stormy night, but no matter, the good shepherd leaves his ninety and nine sheep in the fold, and at the risk of his own life, he goes out into the wildest storm imaginable through the mountains until he find it, that is, his lost one. He goes after that which is lost, and he find it, Luke 15, verse 4. Secondly, the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which is lost, Luke 19.10. Now don't imagine that you can save yourself or that you have grown up on the night's, uh, right side of the railroad track so you are naturally almost saved on your own. If the Lord were to leave us to ourselves, we would be hopelessly lost. But the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which is lost. And think of a shepherd of sheep. He's had a hard day, he's tired and hungry, and his wife has uh, cooked his favorite roast for supper. But as the count, as he's counting his sheep, he finds that one is not there, and it's out somewhere in the mountains. And while this storm is brewing, she says, come and rest and eat your supper. You have 99 sheep, are, you, are these not enough for you? But he just can't rest and eat. The one sheep is lost. So out in the wild storm he goes, maybe looking all night cold and hungry, he must find that one sheep. And who is it? Why, it's you and me personally. Natural human love goes in search of God. All the heathen religions are based on the idea of God being about as uh, hidden and elusive as a cure for cancer is. And people imagine that he's playing hide and seek and has withdrawn himself from human beings. Only special ones are wise or clever enough to discover where God is hiding. There are millions who go on long journeys to Mecca or Rome, or Jerusalem, or other shrines searching for God. The ancient Greeks outdid all of us in building magnificent marble temples 
on their highest hills in which they felt they must seek him. So again, agape, God's kind of love, is the opposite of this. It is not humans seeking after God, but God seeking after man. The Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. This is God's mission, Luke 19.10. And so the shepherd left his 99 sheep that were safe and he risked his life to find the one that was lost. And another parable in that same chapter of Luke 15, we find Jesus telling about a woman who lit a candle and she searched her house until she found the one lost coin that was missing. The Spirit of God searched for the heart of the prodigal son and brought him home. And so there is no story in all the Bible of a lost sheep required to find his shepherd. And so this is God's mission to us, to this one lost world. And he wants every soul to be saved and there is provision through Jesus' death on his cross that each one may be saved. Because God is searching for you. He's tapping you on the shoulder. And while it is today, salvation, respond to him. Dear Father in heaven, what a wonderful thought that we are not alone on this earth, in this uh, planet of sin, but you are with us and you are seeking us. And may we turn and seek you while you are uh, out for us. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.